Hi, my name is Greg Garrett, and I'm the author of A Long, Long Way, Hollywood's Unfinished Journey from Racism to Reconciliation. And in the next few minutes, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the writing of the book. With every book that I write, I try to learn something, to do something a little bit different. And when I proposed this book to Oxford four years ago, I had the idea that since I'm really good at reading texts and thinking about American culture, that this was a book that would be easy for me to do. But it became clear very early on that my perspective was too limited to write the book that I wanted to write. An essential part of the research for this book turned out to be a series of public film screenings and conversations around the country. And in the process, I got to learn from and listen to um, audiences and theologians, writers, critics, pastors, um, as they talked about their own experience with racism and with prejudice. That was a powerful thing for me because I needed those multiple perspectives. And often these films generated um, incredible conversations about race and justice in America. I'm thinking particularly um, about an evening at Washington National Cathedral where we had just screened Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. And NPR's Corva Coleman, who was our moderator on that evening, asked me as the only white person on stage to talk about my experience with law enforcement. Now, I have a somewhat checkered past because I had interesting teenage years, but one of the things that I could say was that although I had a lot of contact with law enforcement, there was never a moment in my life where I feared for my life. And then Corva turned to the Atlantic Monthly's Van Newkirk, who was sitting next to me. And Van put his hands out in front of him, and Corva asked him to explain to the audience what he was doing. And he said, I'm putting my hands in plain view on the steering wheel so I don't get shot. And it was clear to me at that moment and to many in that audience, what a different experience that Van and every other person of color has had than I had had with law enforcement. It was an experience, a conversation that was opened up for us by Spike Lee's great film. It was one of a number of conversations that led to important breakthroughs for me on the book. And it led to my thinking that this book can be something that generates conversations for its readers about race in American cinema and American culture.